Hi, Pastor Laura here with another Table Talk for you. This week we're going to look at Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 13 and 14, which says, When you search for me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me, says the Lord. I hope that praying and expanding your definition of prayer together as a family has been going really well for you this past week. As we continue to seek out how we can employ family faith formation in our lives, I have a simple task for us. Our task is simply to seek the Lord. Now, I'm not talking about hours of endless Bible reading or challenging Bible study. I'm not talking about watching hours and hours of church service online or reading a particular devotional book or magazine. I'm not even talking about setting aside a particular time of day for devotions as a family. I'm simply asking us to look for God. Have you ever noticed that when you're thinking about buying a new car, all of a sudden you see that make and model everywhere you go? It's not because there are suddenly more Chevy Camaros or Ford Mustangs on the road, but it's because you've been research researching or thinking about and looking at a purchasing a particular type of car. So you're more aware of it and you notice and see it more as you go about your day. This phenomenon is true of more than just cars. God has given us an amazing mind as well as the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead and focus our minds and our attention. So with a little effort, a little bit of faith on our part, we can seek God and find God all over the place. All we have to do is start looking for God. And you know what? The more we start intentionally looking for God and thinking about God within the course of our day, the more we will find that God is right close to us, walking with us and leading us through each day and each moment. So we can just take this same principle of when I'm thinking about buying a particular car, I start seeing it everywhere. So I'm going to start training my mind to think about God a little bit more so that I start seeing God everywhere I go. As we start to try and be more aware of all of the places that we can find God in our lives, and as we seek to look for God, we'll find God all over the place. Just like Jeremiah tells us that when we search for God, we will find God. So as we seek, we'll find God in unique cloud formations and in the kind words that strangers speak to us sometimes in passing or in the embrace of a family member or the lyrics of a song on a radio, even if you're not listening to Christian radio stations. We'll find God in something we taste that is really delicious and wanna give God thanks for it. And the list goes on and on and on. Not only will we find God in those extraordinary moments of life where we expect to find God, but before long, we'll also find God in the ordinary. We'll find God as we're driving places or doing shopping or doing a chore that we like or a chore that we dislike. And the more we find God in the day-to-day -day of our lives, we'll find not only that we start to see God in the ordinary, but also that we can experience God not just in moments of joy and perceived success, but also in moments of sorrow, in moments of frustration, and in moments of perceived failures. I challenge us this week as our family together to keep praying in a variety of ways but also to make one of our prayers be that we would find God throughout our day. Within our families, we can help each other be accountable for looking for God more by asking each other, where did you see God at today? If we know that when we gather together at breakfast or at dinner or at some other time together as a family, that we're gonna be asking each other that question, then that will help to focus our attention throughout the day, looking for places to find God, so that when we ask each other as a family, we have something to share with our family about where we found God. So this week, together, a simple faith formation task. Just seek for the Lord, and as we seek out our God, I guarantee you, you will find Him. That's all for now. I can't wait to see you once again around the table.